Well, I George think that Lucas, right? George yeah. Lucas is, uh, you know, that he's the, the creator and godfather of all of this, and so the, the world he created, um, you know, brought in a lot of fans, uh, obviously, and then the stories that we tell in that world kind of all build off that original, you know, imagination of his. So, um, so we all just kind of do our best to serve that, and, and really. Uh, and the Mandalorian has been, been a you know, that's been the process for us is how do we serve that? Yeah, you you attributed to the love of the Star Wars storytelling, and and how to yeah. build on that. And I think that the reason that the Mandalorian works so well is because it it it's so focused on the love of 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 the love that everyone has for this kind of storytelling, and 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 building on the love that the fans have for it. And it's it's a really synchronized relationship that um, is, is overwhelming to yes. be a part of, yeah. <laughs> it is. You know, and, and it's, it's, it's got a lightness to it, you know? A lot of these other sci-fi fantasy shows, you know, they're so heavy, so dark, you know? And uh, I think this one, certainly, you know, I got to have a lot of fun anyway. You know, I, I had a great time. Yeah, you know, all the scripts were color coded, and you know, you had to sign on to a special website, and you know, I loved it all. I mean, I felt like, you know, Tom Cruise and MI7. Yeah, you know, I, I loved it. It was it was really fun to get like, you know, sort of into that Lucasfilm world. It was it was really cool. Awesome. I mean, there's so much affection, as you say, for the film. I think that's true because the film was such a rich kind of environment. The world was very well realized. And there are so many characters in there. Again, well realized characters. And that's really a testament to George Lucas and Ron Howard. Because that's, you know, if you look back at their films, George is all about character and story. You know, he has visual effects that are stunning, but they're there to tell the story. At the heart of it, it is story. And, you know, in the world of Willow, it's a fairly simplistic one in a sense of good versus evil, you know, rescue baby who's the prophecy to overthrow the wicked queen. And a little bit of magic. Oh, absolutely. Loads of magic. We all like to believe in magic, don't we? And uh, I think any, any kind of movie with magic in is um, tantalizing to us. You know, our show is is uh, exemplifies so much of what we need and want and what we don't get. And then we're given things that we go, why am I given that? And I have to stand up and do this thing I don't want to do. Look, the Mandalorian is that guy. But our journey is to find out who we are. Who are we really? Ugh. Do we really want to know? Um, look, the show is, is, is in this third season takes some incredible turns. And, I, I know the audience is going to be really excited to see it. And although we can't tell you the specifics of some of those terms, guess what? You wouldn't want to know.